Well, some of the wine regions that uh, may be up and coming that people haven't heard of, I've just tried some wines from Mudgee for the first time. What are some of the other wine regions that maybe wine drinkers haven't heard of in Australia that are ones to watch? Uh, certainly, uh, regions of the future uh, tend to be south of Mudgee, um, but higher. Orange, mm. it's a funny name for a wine region. They have you put Orange New South Wales because people don't know what this orange wine is. <laughs> yeah, I can see <laughs> that. They, the Canberra district around uh, the Australian Capital Territory, okay. uh, fantastic Rieslings, and uh, Shiraz Viognier's uh, Clonakilla is generally regarded as the finest. Uh, Shiraz Viognier, uh, Tim Kirk, uh, he, he really pioneered the style one other maker here in the Yarra Valley uh, who was doing it before and Tim used to come down and talk to him about it uh, at Yarra, at Yarra Yarra. Um, So Canberra District, Tumbarumba is another high uh, Pinot and Chardonnay producing region, both the sparkling wine and table. So they are interesting mainland regions. Um, there's a small region on the Victorian side of the Victorian South Australian border, so it's not actually very far from Coonawarra, which many people have heard from, heard of. Uh, it's called Henty, and it's another very cool re uh, region with wonderful Riesling, and uh, in particular wonderful Riesling. Tasmania um, is the, it's the hot spot, really. Um, whatever views that you have on climate change, whether it's real or not, whether it's anthropogenic or not, uh, whether it really is having a lasting effect, a, a present uh, lasting effect on our climate. It really doesn't matter when you come to Tasmania because um, it's going to do better uh, than any region, uh, win, lose or draw, for, provided you've got your site selection sorted out, uh, for Pinot and Chardonnay. Um, that seems to be one of the best kept secrets. Well, outside of maybe the sommelier community, but yeah, Tasmania, especially the bubbles. Yes, the yes, it's, uh, well, uh, the master of, of, of sparkling wine in Australia, Ed Carr, Aris Hardy's. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, he's just long since pinned his whole uh, production base on, on Tasmania. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that Aris, is, that's magic stuff. I, mean, I tasted a 99 uh, reserve uh, RD at 10 years on leaves yesterday. Oh, wow. Um, one of the sort of wines I had to do for this book that I'm finishing in the next 24 hours. More, <laughs> well, one of the two girls who works for me, uh, is, she loves sparkles. There was no way she was like a Doberman. Once she'd seen <laughs> me get, uh, get have my taste, she knew that uh, she, was, she was making off with it. It was like throwing <laughs> chum in the water for great whites. I mean, 10 years on leaves, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, and it's still fresh as a daisy. Colour wasn't much more than this. Really? Yeah.